Hey, what's hey. up? We're Burn Halo, and you're watching On the Verge. And Dylan sucks. Yeah, just kidding. I want to know what's up with Virginia. On your Twitter, you guys seem to have a problem with the smell of the state. Oh my yeah, god, it's terrible. <laughs> we we parked we parked outside this gas station, and we were all asleep. And we wake up, and James is in the driver's seat, like getting his coffee. And I roll out of roll out of my the seat in the van, and I get out. And we're parked next to the most disgusting dumpster I've ever smelled in my life. So that's what we basically base the rest of our time in Virginia off of. <laughs> so one smell. Other than that, one smell. It was it was actually pretty. It was good. actually there. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole time. Do you guys bring Febreze on your tour bus? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Have had no, yeah, no bearing on the uh, on the scent of Virginia. It was jammed into our nostrils. Yeah. Even with the Febreze spray, I still smelled it for like an hour after that. No, that was Joey's feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the smelliest then? Oh, right now, me. I haven't showered yeah, in like a me. week. <laughs> Them too. It's been five days. By That's choice? Not. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I'd say Joey always smells the most. I think. <laughs> I have one pair of pants, put it that way. Yeah. Do you guys do like the dry shampoo baby wipes thing? Yeah, yeah. Baby wipes. Baby, baby wipes, wipes most necessity. definitely. Always wiping. <laughs> Rockaholic wants to send us some free dry shampoo. Yeah, for that. <laughs> so, who got their wallet and iPod stolen? That sucks. <laughs> Mega bum out. Did you ever find out who did it? I had a clue, but. What did you do? Yeah. So. Among the music that you lost, what's like the one band that you need to get back? Wow, that's, uh, that's a good question. It's not hard to cut. Um, it'd probably be either this band, the Swedish like rock band Kent, yeah. or um, Sonata Arctica. I lost like most of their catalog. I lost the entire Kent catalog. Was bummed on that. And then um, Third Eye Blind. Yeah, I lost my entire Third Eye Blind catalog. I lost almost everything. Well, I could send you some Third Eye Blind. Anybody else out there watching who wants to donate to James's new iPod collection? Yeah. Maybe we should set up like a Gmail address or something. Yeah, that might actually be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm trying to think. I lost so much awesome stuff and I'm just mega bombed on it. The Keith Urban record, Love Pain, the whole crazy thing, gone. You got that? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> but now, actually, as a musician, are you against us sending you that free music? Well, it was at one point purchased by okay. me, so. Uh, speaking of your friends, which one of you guys is the one who Twitters about Kamora Lee? I have no idea. So one of you guys has been watching Kamora Lee. Boy, this guy. He's probably on at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch any reality shows? Yeah, all of them. What's your favorite? None of them. <laughs> well, since we're in Jersey, I gotta ask: Have you watched Jersey Shore or Jersey Licious? Episode. Uh, yeah. We saw some guy driving down the street. And he was just literally fist bumping. Yeah. Oh, he was driving down the street just like <laughs> fist bumping the whole. Way. Yeah. We really don't do that in this part of New Jersey. We're like well, so New Jersey. Somebody, somebody. Oh, this area is cool. Yeah. This area is great. Yeah. The rest is like we don't know. It's all right. Yeah, just if I had to pick one, it'd probably be ESPN's like Hard Knocks. They go through like they pick a team and go through the training camp and all that stuff. Guys get cut. Other players get elevated on the death chart. <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar with that. One. I don't know what it's. No rock hey, love. Man, you want some coke with that snort up there? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Give it back. Are you still straight edge? I am, yeah. High five. I feel like we're a dying breed of people, or I don't know anybody else who is. I don't feel straight edge at all. Like not even remotely. Just because I have no connection whatsoever to the scene that I once belonged to, if that makes any sense. Like I just don't know what's going on there nowadays, you know. So I don't feel I don't feel it the same way that I did when I was like 15, you know, 20, even 22, 23, you know, with 18 visions. Like this is a totally different thing for me, and I just, you know, I'm not so much into all that music anymore. Um, I mean, I love I love all sorts of music, but it's just you know I'm not. I'm not a part of that scene anymore, you know, but I, I still have like absolutely no desire to smoke, drink, do drugs whatsoever, even though this guy right here like just is dying for me to have a really beer. Want him to have a beer. He wants me to have a beer so bad and I've never, it's just really weird because I've never met anybody, you know, you always get those jokes. He's throwing him under. You always, <laughs> he you throws always, everyone under. You always bus. get those jokes like in high school and like, you know, with the, with your like jock buddies like, hey man, have a beer, you know, like, oh, why don't you have a beer? Or, you know, somebody's drinking, hey, want one? And they think it's funny. 
you know, but the joke is just like, <laughs> yeah, it just gets annoying. <laughs> But he's just like, dude, you got to drink a beer, man. What would you, if, if, <laughs> if, if the world was going to end today, like, would you have a beer? And I'm just like, if I was going to do that, I'd freaking put a needle in my vein. For <laughs> you know, at least hit a home run with it. <laughs> Captain Extreme. Are the rest of you guys raging partiers? Yep. yep. So yeah. what's it like being on a bus with all these people then? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, it's fine. Like, I've just, you know, I, I, I grew up very, like, I feel, like, very open-minded. Like, you know, I grew up, like, you know, jock in high school. And, you know, all my baseball buddies, football buddies, they all partied and drank. And, like, it just didn't bother me. I kind of had, like, two groups of friends, you know. I've never tried to hold anything against anybody for, the, you know, the personal decisions that they make. You know, it doesn't, as long as it's not, you know, hurting me, I never really cared. And, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a pain in the ass to corral these guys and feel like, you know, I'm a cowboy from Oklahoma, you know, but I'm not. And uh, it's, it's, it's hard to get these guys, you know, when they're raging all together. <laughs> so you guys don't have a tour manager with you. So what other um, duties do you pull? It's uh, accounting, tour managing, merchandise. Do you enjoy it or wish you had people to take care of this? I wish I had people to take care of it. <laughs> so now we're accepting <laughs> volunteers, so. So, you know, like, we, we, we make more money because of it in the end. You know, we're just not, we're, our band's not at that level. And because I had toured with 18 Visions for so many years, I learned so much stuff about where that band spent money when it had money. And it just doesn't make sense to me, you know right now.